In the glitzy landscape of 1970s television, one show stood out for its portrayal of the high-stakes world of private investigation, Vegas. What enduring qualities define this series as an everlasting symbol of the industry? A question that beckons us to explore the timeless appeal woven into its narrative fabric. As we delve into the world of Dan Tana, a suave private eye cruising the neon-lit streets of Las Vegas, we're prompted to ponder if there's a specific scene or moment that etched itself into the collective memory of viewers. Perhaps a cinematic snapshot that left an indelible mark resonating beyond the closing credits. Before we unravel these mysteries, let's set the stage with some random facts about the show. Created by Michael Mann, Vegas aired for three seasons, immersing audiences in a world where the stakes were high, the glamour was intoxicating, and the mysteries were as unpredictable as a roll of the dice. Now, back to those enduring qualities. Was it the charismatic presence of Robert Urich as the charismatic Dan Tana, or the magnetic allure of the Vegas Strip as a backdrop? Maybe it was the seamless fusion of crime, drama, and a touch of Vegas flair that captivated audiences, securing Vegas a lasting place in television history. Before we wrap up, we're eager to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this iconic series. Share your stories and reflections in the comments below as we celebrate the lasting impact of Vegas. Your anecdotes are the missing pieces to this detective puzzle. So, what scene or element of Vegas has left an indelible mark on your memory? What enduring qualities do you believe make this series an everlasting symbol of the industry? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Dantana, the central character of the 1978 TV series, had a brief introduction in Charlie's Angels before the show kicked off. Portrayed by Robert Urich, Tana made his first appearance at the end of Season 3's premiere episode, Angels in Vegas. In this crossover, Tana was presented as a friend of Charlie and Bosley. Interestingly, the character's name, Dan Tana, wasn't a random choice. It was inspired by a West Hollywood restaurant named Dan Tana's on Santa Monica Boulevard, a favorite spot of the show's producer, Aaron Spelling. The restaurant, which lent its name to the protagonist, still operates, but in 2020, its longtime bartender, Michael Godavac, passed away due to complications from COVID-19. In a curious real-life twist, Robert Urich, who played the role of Dan Tana, was older than most of the actresses portraying his character's girlfriends on the show. Despite this age difference, the character of Dan Tana was depicted as younger than most of his on-screen romantic interests. These intriguing aspects add depth to the behind-the-scenes details of Vegas, shedding light on its connections to other popular shows and the real-life inspirations behind the character names. The series, which made its debut in 1978, not only captivated audiences with its Las Vegas setting, but also had interesting ties to the world beyond the screen. Dan Tana's gritty persona in the 1978 TV series Vegas wasn't just about solving crimes in the flashy setting of Las Vegas. The character, portrayed by Robert Urich, had a real-life twist. To embody the role, Urich underwent a significant physical transformation, packing on 40 pounds of muscle, boosting his weight from a skinny 180 pounds to a solid, muscular 220 pounds. This commitment to the character's physicality adds a layer to the portrayal of Dan Tana. Unlike the typical private eye, Tana wasn't confined to a standard detective's apartment. In an intriguing deviation from the storyline, Tana's residence was a converted garage owned by the Desert Inn, not the commonly portrayed apartment behind it. This garage, located just north of Circus Circus, offered a unique backdrop for Tana's crime-solving endeavors, deviating from the conventional detective narrative. Moreover, the age dynamics within the series add an interesting element. Despite Robert Urich being 12 years older than Judy Landers, who played his secretary Angie Turner, the character of Dan Tana was written as being three years younger than Angie. This choice in character ages adds a subtle layer of complexity to the relationships within the series. In essence, the 1978 TV series Vegas goes beyond the glitz of Las Vegas, weaving real-life inspirations, physical transformations, and intriguing narrative choices into its fabric. These behind-the-scenes details bring a nuanced perspective to the show's portrayal of the charismatic private investigator Dan Tana, creating a viewing experience that transcends the conventional detective genre. The iconic opening credits of the series showcase a bygone era of Las Vegas, featuring hotels like the Frontier, Stardust, Dunes, Desert Inn, and Sands, most of which no longer stand. 
These landmarks, now vanished, provided the glitzy backdrop for Dan Tana's investigative escapades. The changing Vegas skyline reflects the evolving nature of the city, capturing a moment frozen in time. Interestingly, Robert Urich, who impeccably portrayed Dan Tana, faced initial skepticism from producers. Despite his stellar acting and imposing physical presence, concerns arose about his youthful appearance. Producers hesitated, questioning whether he could convincingly embody a character in his 20s. Urich's eventual triumph over these doubts shaped the series, showcasing his versatility as an actor and adding an intriguing layer to the portrayal of Dan Tana. Fast forward to 2013 and Bart Braverman stands as the sole surviving regular cast member, a testament to the passage of time and the fragility of life. Judy Landers, who brought life to the character Angie, remains among the living, embodying a connection to the show's past. As the years pass, the cast's changing fortunes underscore the impermanence of the era captured in Vegas. In exploring these facets of Vegas, from the vanished Vegas landmarks to the casting uncertainties and the current status of the cast, we gain a deeper understanding of the series. Beyond the glitz and glamour, Vegas encapsulates a snapshot of a dynamic city and the ever-changing landscape of television, leaving an indelible mark on the small screen. In Vegas, the character Dan Tana had more than just a scripted connection to real-life figures. The show's protagonist, portrayed by Robert Urich, was crafted based on the experiences of longtime Las Vegas detective Eddie LaRue. LaRue, who ran his Las Vegas agency until his passing in 2020, served as the inspiration behind the character Dan Tana. Aaron Spelling's writers drew from LaRue's real-life exploits to shape the gritty persona of Tana, adding an authentic touch to the 1978 TV series. Interestingly, this connection to a real detective extends beyond the character's creation. In episodes like Vegas Classic Connection, the series features Wayne Newton playing a racing car friend of Dan named Justin Marsh. The character's striking resemblance to Wayne Newton becomes a notable plot point, emphasizing the classic connections within the show's narrative. Furthermore, Newton later makes a return to Vegas in Vegas Dead Ringer, this time appearing as himself. The complexities of relationships within the series extend beyond the screen as well. Despite Robert Urich being nine years older than Catherine Hickland in real life, the dynamics of their on-screen relationship presented Urich's character Dan Tana as the younger brother to Julie. This intriguing age dynamic adds another layer to the portrayal of characters in the series. In essence, Vegas delves into the world of Las Vegas, not just through glitz and glamour, but by drawing inspiration from real-life figures like Eddie LaRue. The show's blend of genuine connections, classic cameos, and age-defying character dynamics contributes to the enduring appeal of the 1978 TV series. As we draw the curtain on our nostalgic journey through the glitzy streets of vintage glamour illuminated by the neon glow of Las Vegas, I encourage you, dear reader, to let the echoes of the 1978 TV series linger in your mind. Let the captivating escapades of our favorite characters be more than just pixels on a screen, let them be imprints on your own narrative. Perhaps you found solace in the charismatic swagger of our lead, or maybe the bustling streets of Sin City served as the backdrop to your late-night musings. As the credits roll, take a moment to delve into the recesses of your memory, uncovering the hidden gems that Vegas planted in your heart. Share with us the scenes that etch themselves into the tapestry of your personal chronicles, creating a bond that transcends time and space. In this age of fleeting entertainment, Vegas stands as a testament to enduring stories that refuse to be relegated to the forgotten pages of television history. So whether it's the thrill of a high-stakes gamble, the allure of the Vegas lights, or the enigmatic charm of the characters, let your voice join the chorus of those who carry a piece of Vegas within them. Thank you, Kindred Spirit, for embarking on this journey down memory lane. Your thoughts and memories add another layer to the rich tapestry of shared human experiences, until our paths cross again, keep the spirit of Vegas alive in your heart.